at the crossroads of history, forged by centuries of conflict, is a place once believed to be the center of the world. Jerusalem. I uh, had the privilege a couple of years ago to meet uh, the legendary a filmmaker, Jake Everts, uh, born in Montreal, um, when he shared with me the vision of, his, uh, of the movie. And immediately uh, I uh, felt that there is a great connection between Hebrew University to the vision of the executive producer. Uh, the Hebrew University uh, was served over the years as a platform uh, and a catalyst to promote uh, 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 pluralism and a dialogue between uh, all people. And uh, in the Hebrew University today, there is you know, students from, from all over the world, and uh, in particular in Jerusalem, Christian, Muslim, and Jews are learning side by side uh, uh, each other. And also, the university is uh, known uh, uh, to be one of the leading in the world in uh, uh, every uh, aspect of the movie, if it's archaeology, if it's Islamic study, if it's uh, uh, Christianity and archaeology and Jewish study and all of it together, any aspect of Jerusalem is study and deep research by the Hebrew University. So we felt that uh, uh, it's, it would be great to be able to introduce it to the world uh, in a way that university cannot do it by itself. And that's where we saw the connection. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit more about the Canadian involvement in getting this film off the ground. I think that's first of all the executive producer, the late uh, Jake Everts, was, uh, he's a Canadian. Uh, Daniel Ferguson, the, uh, the director, is Canadian. Uh, and I think there is, a, uh, there is a wing of Canadian spirit in this uh, movie. I think that bringing uh, uh, the Canadian uh, spirit and reflecting it on Jerusalem, or try to uh, do it the Canadian way, and uh, taking and revealing the three uh, major, uh, uh, I would say, demographic group or, or, or ethnical group who live and share the city on a daily basis and introduce them to each other in a Canadian way of say, you know, well, let's learn about each other. And I think that the, the job that uh, uh, the production did was amazing because it's really, uh, and, and I was involved in the pre-screening uh, uh, process that we had the focus group and uh, representing by different diversity, by Christian, Muslim and Jews. And it truly, you know, did what Canadians do the best. We didn't annoy anybody. It was just great and, and everybody can see the movie and live in peace with it. Uh, because anything done with Jerusalem before was always, always, if you move a stone in Jerusalem, immediately it's, a, it's turning to be a major uh, uh, contradiction and a major fuss and a major problem with demonstration, all of that. Here, we had a camera, uh, you know, going into uh, the Holy of Holies of every religion here and talking to the people and revealing the history and the story of it and everything stay calm. You know, I, I felt personally through the movie that it, it taking you in almost into a soothing journey into a place that's normally come to the world uh, uh, as a completely different. And, and what it does, Jerusalem, is almost like cover with a shell of political reality. And you need to crack this shell. You need to penetrate, be, be, you know, penetrate inside, break it, and let the beauty and the story of the city reveal outside. Let, let the world see what is it all about. After all, there is Christian, Muslim, and Jews live next to each other, working together, learning together, you know, eating together, telling jokes to each other. There is life beyond what's so-called this harsh layer of conflict. And, and I think that the world focusing constantly on this conflict, doing injustice to all the people who live in Jerusalem, to all the people who call Jerusalem home. Because if there is something we all can be proud, Christian, Muslim, and Jews, is about Jerusalem. It's about the story, the heritage, the, the archaeology, the art, the culture, so beautifully that if we just uh, are able to tell the story, you know, people will view us in a different way. And I think that we are a reflection of how people view us. So if, if we change the perspective, maybe it will be able to drive a process that change the dynamic inside the city and, and bring it into a better reality. I think that those who visited Israel 
uh, and visited the Hebrew University in particular, there is a beautiful, beautiful uh, painting that was done in uh, 1918 when uh, uh, the uh, foundation stone of the university was laid by a very distinguished group of people. And this, it's an amazing uh, picture that you see people uh, sitting on Mount of Scopus and there is a very, very distinguished uh, ceremony. And when you see in the audience, you see Christian, Muslims, religious Jews, you know, Imams, Christian clergymen, all sitting together in vision, you know, and participating and partnering in this vision of building a, 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 an academic institution, a center of learning. Jerusalem was a center for learning all over the history, but it was a center of learning that uh, uh, teach their own people, but we didn't create a university who include all aspects of the world together. And I think that this particular picture, whatever number of years later, this movie has a very, very strong connection because I think it's reflecting a vision. And the Hebrew University is a major, major, major component in this beautiful fabric of the city because it's, it has 23,000 students on campus every day, Christian, Muslim and Jews, who come to seek knowledge. And, and I think that this movie will bring the city into the world. Also another thing, you know, we, we, we spoke before about the Canadian uh, input and the Canadian flavor. I think that Jerusalem live all over the world. In every church where there is a Bible, Jerusalem is there. In every mosque, Jerusalem is there. In every synagogue, Jerusalem is there. And there is millions and millions and millions of people who read the book. Now it's time to see the movie.